just a minute. All right, Kevin, downtown Salt Lake City businesses are pretty worried about a tidal wave in the homeless population this coming summer. The fears come as the city prepares an aggressive campaign against panhandling. Political specialist Lad Egan live for us tonight with why Utah's good reputation could be working against us. Lad? Yeah, my. Homeless people aren't panhandlers, and panhandlers aren't always homeless. The Downtown Alliance says giving to panhandlers could be making Utah's homeless crisis even worse. They're taking your money from you and using it for things you probably wouldn't be so proud to know that where that money is going. That's why the Alliance is working with Salt Lake City to create what it calls an aggressive and bold initiative to discourage handing out money on the street. It's homeless people need our help. And it's uh, the correct urge to want to give and to want to help. There's just a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. So an ad campaign will we'll have some effectiveness to it. Dave Kelly with the Pioneer Park Coalition says the anti-panhandling messaging is a step in the right direction. Our biggest concerns are the tidal wave that's, that is coming. But wants a better plan for managing the surging homeless population this summer. The nation's perception of come to Utah and you get a house if you're homeless. Come to Utah, the LDS Church will take care of you because you're homeless. Come to Utah, they, they give you know, they give money to everybody. And the worry is that homeless people from other states are being attracted to Utah before our new shelters are even built. And then we now throw in, and oh, by the way, they're building new facilities to help even more. That message will get out and more people will keep coming. The Pioneer Park Coalition says it wants to see more short term solutions since those three new shelters won't be finished for years to come, 2019. The exact details of this new anti panhandling campaign have yet to be decided. I'm told it should be rolled out in the next month or so, Mike, but I'm told it could include billboards and other types of advertising and also specific instructions on how to donate to charities instead of directly to individuals. Yeah, you go up and down I-15, I've probably seen more panhandlers at some of those off-ramps than any other year, and I would say the past 15 years, lad. Yeah, it's just exploded, and you know, that, that reputation of Utah being a compassionate place, it, it could be working against us, especially along the I-15 corridor of more people actually coming here, but our new shelters aren't here yet, so we're not prepared to receive them. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. All right, Lad Egan, live for us tonight, Lad, thank you. Deanie. Representative